Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. God bless you today. I hope you have a great day today. It is Tuesday. Now, there's some updates as far as Noah comes. Uh, 97L has taken over the name of Theta. Uh, it is Tropical Storm Theta. It's moving uh, 50 miles per hour winds. It's moving east at 12 miles per hour, so it's going the wrong way, thank God. And it's at 998 millibars of pressure, so I'm not showing it's going to affect anybody. Ada is, is at 60 miles per hour. The pressure is 992, and it's moving south at 5 miles per hour. Now, the disturbance number one, this is going to be tropical depression at first, maybe a tropical storm, Iota. I'm showing two different paths. I will show you which ones I have come up with. This is your probability of tropical storm force winds from Ada as it comes on. So as you can see, all the way from the southeast Louisiana, all the way around to Florida, it's going to be getting some kind of winds from this storm as it comes back to the north. Now here's a, a predicted path from NOAA. They are showing that it will be a tropical storm, not a hurricane, and it will go back towards Pensacola, towards Alabama as a depression. And I'm showing the same thing on the models I'm picking up. However, Florida, Georgia, and Alabama, y'all are going to be seeing some rains uh, from this because it is a north and east side loaded storm. Here's your spaghetti mo uh, models as far as what the guidance is predicted to be. They are predicted to go towards Pensacola, but as you can see that it does kind of curve towards Tallahassee in a, in a couple of the models, which is possible, of course, but that shows that that's where the storm part is going to be. That's where the rains and the heavy winds, if any. Now, here's your, your model intensity guidance. They're all showing that none of them, show, none of them will, will be a, a hurricane. They got one going a little crazy. Do not believe that. There's something wrong with that one. But it's shown right after it gets towards landfall, 60 hours away, it drops immediately down to a tropical storm, to a tropical depression, and, and won't hold a whole bunch of power to it at all. Now, if you look at the air, aircraft uh, reconnaissance, you can see that, you know, as you what you're looking at is this, when it goes this way from measurement, this is the north side of the storm. This is the south side of the storm. It's going from north to south, and this is how it reads it. The north side is stronger. The north side is showing 50, 54, maybe 55 knot winds. The south side is showing it's around 48 knot winds. So it's very unbalanced still. It's just it's not a straight up and down uh, cyclone. It's still the wind shear messing with it. It's got it lopsided. And if you look at all the 31 members, all 31 members do show that it does go towards the Florida panhandle, uh, either early or late, and then it just weakens considerably. It's not even nothing to really worry about for this storm. There will be some rains with it, but I don't, I don't see anything as far as damaging winds. Now here's your SpaghettiOs, and not only for this one, but also for uh, Theta or Iota, so you can see what the other Cyclones are doing. But you can see how the SpaghettiOs are all in agreement. It is going to move back towards Florida, and it is going to just dissipate and die down. Now if you look over here towards... Uh, right past Puerto Rico. Matter of fact, Mark down there, he's over there by Puerto Rico and a few other friends. It's going to form right below him and pass by by lower Jamaica. And as you see, the, most of the models show that it just goes by Jamaica, but one, one model does show Jamaica that it could go over you. It is a possibility. It is still far away. However, if it, if it does, it will more, like, more than likely be weak by the time it comes to you because it's not going to strengthen it until it gets a little bit past you. And then a lot of the spaghetti models also shows that some of them show that it goes towards Nicaragua, towards Central America. Some sh one shows Belize. Uh, a bunch of them shows that it will go up into the Gulf. But it is a possibility also for Nicaragua and Belize and Central America area that y'all could have this issue. And if it does come later, it will be stronger uh, than sooner, of course. And we even got one that shows late that it comes back towards Jamaica and it goes all into Atlantic and just gets big and strong and leaves as well as a real late one that has a lot of power but that's too far away now as far as simulated satellite you can see what happens with the dry air with Ada let's get on with Ada real quick and as it fights when it goes back towards Florida it does fight the dry air it does show that it still punches through like it did yesterday it is still a powerful storm but the dry air shows to be too much for it. It gets elongated, and all it does is drop st uh, storms for the north and the north, uh, the north and the east side of the storm. As you can see, though, most of it goes to South Carolina, Georgia, northern Florida. You're gonna be getting some some winds, some rain uh, from this storm until it finally comes in, 
and it looks like Tallahassee to me. It looks like Florida Panhandle. It looks like the wind shear actually does uh, beat on it. So let's take a look at that. And here's your deep layer wind shear. You can see that the Ada does move back towards Florida, and when it does, it gets interacted uh, from the deep layer wind shear and it starts stripping away the powers. It weakens it considerably. It goes from 998 to 1003, and then it goes done. And as you can see, the impact. And then it goes away. And there's your center. There's your center. Your center low pressure right there, because that, that was all the the storms. That's all the storms right here getting ripped off, as you saw in the uh, in the in the the dry air. That it gets ripped off from it, and then the center low pressure moves a little bit more to the west as a subtropical or just a little depression. It's going to be a very weak cyclone when it does that. All the main effects of this storm will be towards us, Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. Now, if you look at the, the maximum wind gust, you can see exactly where this path goes, where the, where the center and where, where the impacts goes. You can tell how it goes towards Alabama and Florida. This is where the, the low pressure system does make some kind of landfall, and then it goes up to the northeast. But it's not showing that there's a lot of impact. I'm only showing up to 31 miles per hour uh, max for your wind gust for this. Now, your total precipitation that you can expect from this storm, South Florida, within the next five days, you'll be getting one inch of rain. North Florida, South Carolina, you'll be getting almost up to two, one and a half to two inches. And South Carolina on the East Coast, you could get up to three to four inches from the storm. So as it gets closer, I will uh, update that. Which I just want to know for sure that that is where it's going. And if you look for tropical depression formation, you can tell where these centers do go. This is the next system that's going to be coming. This is going to be Iota. And if you notice, in 48 hours, it starts making a movement towards Central America, towards uh, Nicaragua, towards Panama. And it is going to strengthen right there for a little while. Now, whether it becomes a tropical storm and affects them, uh, we really don't know. Because when I check for the tropical storm, it don't show a lot of strength as far as a tropical storm in that direction. It has a little potential, but it don't strengthen all the way. I see it does weaken down. So as far as Honduras, Nicaragua, as far as what rainfall y'all going to get, I will update this. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do do this every day, and I also update every day. Now, if we look at the access, we can see exactly what goes on with these low-pressure systems. As you can see, it's in agreeance that Ada will die off in the Gulf, and there'll be minimum impacts when it does come. But if you notice, the next system, it forms up. Right here on the Eastern Caribbean, right below Jamaica, within the next five days. And it will make its track towards Central America. Now, whether it goes towards uh, Belize and the Yucatan or the Gulf or just shoots down towards Panama, that's still up in the air because some models are showing different things. However, this is showing a hurricane that could hit exactly, exactly where the last one hit. Right on the border of Honduras and Nicaragua. So God bless y'all over there. I know y'all going through enough. And the last thing y'all need is another storm. But this is showing that there's a possibility that you could get this. Now, if you look at the GFS, the GFS, of course, like I said, all the models are showing something different. GFS, of course, shows ADA does die down in the Gulf within the next three days. But you can see where the low pressure system picks up. It picks up a little bit uh, past Jamaica. So I'm showing Jamaica will have minimum impacts. If anything, it'll be very light rain and very light winds as this passes by because everybody else is going to get more impacts than this. But if you watch it, it starts going west in the Caribbean and then it just beelines straight for the Honduras, straight a little bit north of, of, the, of, the, uh, of the line of, of their, their, their border. Uh, but you can see it's more of a, a Honduras landfall than it would be a, a, a Nicaragua landfall. But once again, it heads down there. So I can tell that those guys probably going to have issues, man. This is not good. Uh, Euro is showing that it will be a tropical storm for Nicaragua in the Panama era, area. And then within the next 10 days, it would already be around y'all dropping heavy rainfall and, and heavy rain uh, winds. Sorry. Now, if you look at the precipital water, you can see the rain that's going to be hitting uh, Nicaragua and Honduras. As, as it goes down over by Panama. And it just for days and days, you're going to have heavy precipitation on the east side of Nicaragua. So please be aware of that. I know y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all have enough of that. Now, if you look at the GFS parallel, it's been picking up this storm for, I don't know, a little over two weeks now. 
and it's been showing this track uh, and not none of that information. It's not showing any of that information being true. It's showing it gets down almost to a hurricane below Jamaica, no effects for Jamaica. And then as it goes towards the Western Caribbean, it still shows that it goes towards the Gulf. And it's been showing this for a long time. Now, if you notice, it gets one last turn in there and it go, heads towards Cancun and the Yucatan as a strong hurricane. Goes straight over it and gets into the Gulf as a hurricane. It does die down before it does anything, but then again, it's too far. And we really don't know the truth to that as it is. So I appreciate y'all for checking in with me this morning. I will do an up, update later. I just want to update you on what's going on. Theta has formed. Uh, Iota is going to be doing something, but it's too far to know for sure exactly what the path and track and intensity will be for that. But I am showing as far as Ada goes that you don't have much to worry, guys. It's just a little bit of rain that's coming with it and some mild winds. I think the roughness of that storm is gone. However, though, do I do feel God bless you today. You should always wake up with God in your heart. God always comes first. He will make your day great. Give him glory. He deserves it. Jeremiah 11. The world that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice and do them according to all which I commanded you. So shall ye be my people and I will be your God, that I, will, that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey as it is in this day. Then answered I and said, So be it, O Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the Im uh, imagination of their evil heart. Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did not, but they did them not. And the Lord said unto them, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah, and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have, have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Therefore, th thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which, which they shall not be able to escape. And through they, and through, I'm sorry, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto God, unto whom they offer incense. But they shall not save them, they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of thy cities were, the, were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars so that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore pray not thou thy sorry, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What hath what hath my beloved to do in mine house, seeing she passed from thee? When thou doest evil, then thou rejoicest? The Lord called thy name, a green olive tree, fair and of good God uh, goodly fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he, he hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee. For the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger and offering incense unto Baal. And the Lord hath given me knowledge of it, and I know it. Then, then... 
thou shootest me their doings. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter, saying, and I knew not, let me do that again, sorry. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter, and I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saying, let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, and his name may be no more remembered. But, O Lord of hosts, that judges righteously, that tries the reins and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I revealed my cause. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of the men of Anathoth, that seek life, that seek thy life, saying, Prophecy not in the same name of the Lord, that thou die not by our hand. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. And there shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth, even the year of their visitation. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day today. Thank you for watching the video. All glory does go to God. Amen.